Hello everyone, now let us discuss about anatomy of musculoskeletal system. In the current session, we will be focusing on bone surface markings. Bones have characteristic surface markings. Surface markings are nothing but structural features that are adapted for specific functions. And most of the surface markings are not present at birth, but they develop in response to certain forces and are most prominent in adult skeleton. Mainly, there are two types of bone surface markings. The first one are depressions or openings. The next are projections, processes or outgrowths. So as we have discussed earlier, bone surface markings are mainly of two types, depressions or openings or processes, projections or outgrowths. Depressions and depressions or openings, they allow passage of soft tissues, for example, blood vessels, nerves, ligaments and tendons. The major function is they allow the passage of soft tissues through bone soft tissues like blood vessels, nerves, ligaments and tendons. Now coming to processes or projections or outgrowths. They help to form joints and they serve as attachment points for connective tissue. The main purpose of processes, projections or outgrowths is they help to form joints or serve as attachment points for connective tissue. Now coming to various types of bone surface markings. First we will discuss about Depressions and openings. The first one is fissure. Fissure is nothing but a narrow slit between adjacent parts of bone through which blood vessels pass. Fissure is a narrow slit between adjacent parts of bones through which blood vessels pass. Example are superior orbital fissure of spinoid bone. Next is foramen. Foramen is an opening through which blood vessels, nerves or ligaments pass. Foramen is an oven, opening, whereas fissure is a narrow slit. Example of foramen is optic foramen of spinoid bone. Next is fossa. What is fossa? Fossa is a shallow depression. Example is coronoid fossa uh, of humerus. Next is sulcus. What is sulcus? A furrow along bone surface that accommodates blood vessels, nerves or tendons. Sulcus is a furrow along bone surface that accommodates blood vessels, nerves or tendons. Example of sulcus is sulcus is uh, intertubercular sulcus of humerus. Next is meatus. It is a tube-like opening. Example is external auditory meatus of temporal bone. Now coming to processes, projections or outgrowths. First, we'll discuss about processes that form joint. The first type of process is condyle. Condyle is nothing but large round protuberance with a smooth articular surface at the end of the bone. Example is lateral condyle of femur. The next is facet. It is a smooth, flat, slightly concave or convex articular surface. Example is superior articular facet of vertebra. The next is head. It is usually rounded articular projection supported on neck of the bone. Example is head of femur. Now coming to processes that form attachment points to connective tissues. The first one is crest. Crest is nothing but prominent ridge or elongated projection. Example is iliac crest of hip bone. The next is epicondyle. It is typically roughened projection above the condyle. Example is medial epicondyle of femur. The next one is linea in plural line. It is a long, narrow ridge or border. Example is linea aspera of femur. The next is spinous process, which is nothing but sharp, slender projection. Example is spinous process of vertebrae. The next is trochanter. Trochanter is nothing but a very large product projection. Example is greater trochanter of femur. The next is tubercle. Variably sized rounded projection. Tubercle is nothing but variably sized rounded projection. Example is greater tubercle of humerus. The next is tuberosity. Variable sized projection that has rough bumpy surface. Example is Iliac tuberculosity, uh, tuberosity of hip bone. Ischial tuberosity of hip bone. 